Hi everyone, I'm Wafa Langa and welcome you all in grammar in detail. If you are new and not subscribe the channel, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more videos. Today we are going to discuss the tenth modal auxiliary verb would from active voice to passive voice. Before starting the lecture, let's have a quick definition of modal auxiliary verb that must, ought to, should, can, could, may, might, will, shall, would, and used to are called modal auxiliary verbs. Keep in your mind, used to I've written in yellow because some of the grammarians say that it is a structure, while the others say you know it is a modal auxiliary verb. Now. It is a modal auxiliary verb or a structure that we will be having a detailed discussion about it as we start used to. So, if it is a modal auxiliary verb, how you are going to change it into passive voice, and if it is a structure, how you are going to change it from active voice into passive voice. Somehow, let's today we will be discussing. You know, uh, let's discuss today would. Before starting would, you know, uh, there is a note. We will learn the detail of modal auxiliary verbs in parts of speech. You know, as we start parts of speech, in parts of speech when we start verb, verb has got some twenty plus kinds. You know, one of them is known as the modal auxiliary verb. Uh, auxiliary verb then auxiliary in auxiliary auxiliary verb has got some three to four kinds. One of them is called the semi modal uh, the modal auxiliary verbs. And one note is there that you know another note that you know modal auxiliary verbs are studied in two categories. The first one is called the secondary level, and the second one is called the primary level. In secondary level, here you will be able to learn the percentages or the possibility of modal auxiliary verbs. Like we have seen that you know these seven are used for present uh, possibility, like must hundred percent or to eighty five, should seventy five percent, can fifty percent, could forty uh, percent, and may thirty percent, and might for fifteen uh, percent. And will for fifty percent for future possibility shall for uh, future possibility fifty percent. One is for informal and the second is formal. Today we are going to discuss the tenth modal auxiliary verb that is known as would. Now what is would? It is used for unreal situations. You know unreal facts which you have not done or which you wanted to do in past but you didn't or couldn't. Now for example I say I would help you. Why I didn't help you? See. I didn't help you because you know. Do you remember you did not help me your time? Why shall I help you this time? And I couldn't means I did not have the chance to help you. Means those actions in past we wanted to do it but we didn't or couldn't. See, it is used for unreal situation. We wanted to do it in past but we didn't or couldn't. So modal auxiliary verb would how you are going to change from active voice into passive voice. This is our main topic. We are going to discuss. Modal auxiliary verb, you know, would from active voice into passive voice. As you know, in active voice, subject is the doer of an action. In passive voice, subject is affected. Keep in your mind, we have learned the rules when subject takes the place of object. Now, this subject takes the place of object in passive voice. That will not be called object. That will be called agent. And what is agent? It tells us who does an action. And object takes the place of subject. And here it will not be the doer of an action uh, subject, but it will be called title or topic subject which we are talking about. For example, you know, uh, I say you know, I would help you. Now here I is doer of an action, you is affected. Here you is affected, and we are talking about it. It will be called title subject, and me is the doer of an action in this sentence. So it will be called agent, not object. Okay, formula for that in active voice for simple sentences. What are simple sentences which make simple statement? Formula is subject, modal auxiliary verb would, then bear infinitive. Keep in your mind with all eleven modal auxiliary verbs you will be using the bear uh, infinitive. What is bear infinitive? You know, to uh, uh, it is one of the kinds of verbal. Verbal is what when a verb works as a noun, adjective, or as an adverb in a sentence is called verbal. Then verbal has got three kinds: gerund, participle, and infinitives. Infinitives have got nine kinds. One of them is known as bear infinitive. What is bear infinitive? When only first form of the verb works as a noun in a sentence, and it is the name of an action. It is not action, but the name of action. It is called verb uh, bear infinitive. And after that, object and then full stop. In passive voice, subject would be plus third form by agent and full stop. I would help you. Now see, it is unreal situation in past which did we did not do in past. I would help you. Why I I didn't uh, I did uh, I uh, I did not help you. Why? Because you know. Do you remember you didn't help me your time? Why should I help you now? 
and another uh, uh, sense you could say that you know i would help you but it, i did not get the chance to help you so this is known as you know uh, modal auxiliary verb would i would help you passive passive for this sentence is you would be helped by me bilal would achieve his target bilal's target would be achieved by him negative sentences those sentences in which we deny the statement reject the statement or refuse the statement i would not help you you would not be helped by me bilal would not achieve his target bilal's target would not be achieved by him interrogative sentences those sentences in which we ask questions or put queries would i help you would you be helped by me would bilal achieve his target would bilal's target be achieved by him formal sentences those sentences in which we ask question deny the statement we ask them in a formal way polite way respective way are called formal sentences would i not help him would you would i not help him would he not be helped would he not be helped by you know, when there is a print mistake i have just to remove it but here i would help him he would be helped by me here see we have written you but here mistakenly we have written him so for that you know sorry for that last committing mistake here i have considered it as like you know you you but at the end if they are him so here you will be putting e clear so would i not help him would you uh, uh, would he not be helped by me would bilal not achieve his target would bilal's uh, target not be achieved by him wouldn't i help him wouldn't e be helped by me wouldn't bilal achieve his target wouldn't bilal's target be achieved by him so these are the sentences of modal auxiliary verb from active voice into passive voice in simple negative interrogative formal and informal sentences hope you got today's lecture and now the last all the time you know i'll ask you to practice them that makes a man perfect so today's verb we will be writing and we will be uh, making their sentences like you know buy send sell take and break buy i would buy a car car would be bought by me car would not be bought by me would car be bought by me would car not be bought by me wouldn't car be bought by me he would send me a letter letter would be sent by him Let, letter would not be sent by him would letter be sent by him would letter not be sent by him wouldn't letter be sent by him he would sell a bike bike would be sold by him bike would not be sold by him would bike be sold by him would bike not be sold by him wouldn't bike be sold by him okay uh take a would take t t would be taken by him t would not be taken by him would t be taken by him would t not be taken by him wouldn't uh, t be taken by him last we have break i would break the wall wall would be broken by me wall would not be broken by me would wall be broken by me would would wall not be uh, would wall be broken by me would wall not be broken by me wouldn't wall be wa uh, wall be broken by me so these are the simple sentences negative interrogative formal and informal sentences of modal auxiliary verb hope you got today's lecture wish you best of luck see you next time take care goodbye